Howdy folks, and we messed around with uh, 3D printers and a lot of uh, laser engraver machines in the last few weeks. So this came in and it was like, yeah, okay, it's laser, but it's laser leveling. It's for, you know, job sites and stuff or leveling things up with a laser. And it's a pretty interesting and a very, very cool item. So we're gonna look at it today, yes. Yeah, so we're uh, today we're gonna be on on the level. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the I want to thank Sigmund for sending this over to me. It's the CM508, and it's one of those things that I've been seeing contractors and different people using it for, you know, putting up cabinets and kitchens to just checking floors and stuff to make sure things are nice and straight and level. And I thought, man, you know, it would kind of be nice to have one of those around. So anyway, Sigmund sent this over to us to check it all out. And from what I understand, it's a great price, great features. And the tool offers a lot of, you know, systems where a lot of different applications can happen because you can level with this thing. So first thing we got to do is uh, get it out of the box. <clears throat> yeah. And whoa. Oh, nice. Okay. So it comes in a, <laughs> comes in a nice carrying case. There's a, uh, uh, yep, destruction manual here. Yep, and of course, what was it Tim Allen said? Something about real men don't need, uh, you know, don't need instructions. Okay, there you go. Yeah, uh, oh, nice, nice, ca okay. Oh, foam pad, and everything's all nice and packed. Uh, charging cable for a USB, looks like a USB 3.0. Yep, the, the modern, you know, looks like a Thunderbolt kind of cable to a USB, to a good old fashioned USB. And got a bracket that just took it apart. Yep, just broke that. Yep, cool. Yeah, so I think we can fix this. Yep, it didn't take long to break that. And that's why we can't have nice things around here. Golly. Yep. So let's see. Off uh, off camera, we'll fix this, or we'll try to. Review's going really well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, man. Ah, oh, just getting it out of the box and it broke. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, there it is. There, there we go. Okay, it's just a squeeze-in kind of uh, thing here. So let's get the bracket aside. Let's get the machine out. <clears throat> I'm gonna break that, and get that out of there as well. Okay, nice and tightly packed. Yeah, it's a laser, laser level though, and. It will shoot lasers in lines that will go, I think they set up to about 300 feet. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look. Okay, charge it up. There's a lock on the back side of it here. And so I guess you're gonna have to, un whoa, unlock it. Okay, so it looks like it's on already. There is a couple of switches on top. First there's a, this is actually a weird one. I'll show it to you. See a little red light? And that tells me it's not level. When I put it on the bench here, because the bench is level apparently, uh, the green light comes on and it's level. So I'm going to bring you guys over here so we can look on the bench and take a look at what's what's happening here with this uh, laser. So we're over at the bench here now and taking a look at this laser. The number one thing was it's easy to use. That's the first, yeah, you know, that's always a good thing. Uh, this first button here is for the, the laser and it actually, you can set the power, how much, you know, uh, how strong you want the laser. The, oh, let me turn it on here again. I'll show you that crazy light. Anyway, yeah, see that green light? That tells me that this, the head of this is actually level right now. And so that's a cool thing. And then we have a little power switch here that can, you know, to change the different modes of the laser as to where, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it changes the mode of where the laser is actually looking. Now, look, now it's over here and we have an X. So there's a lot of cool, simple, easy to use functions. I like it, you know, and the button, of course, <clears throat> hard button, so it actually works pretty good. <laughs> I can't break that yet. I'm trying, but I haven't been able to. The, there are so many different really weird applications to this. I'm not sure how we're going to cover this today because uh, I've already played with it now for a little bit, and I tell you, uh, I can see all kinds of uh, questions and answers that could, you know, involve, you know, shooting a laser. 
Uh, I just wanted to give you that, I think it's 300, up to 350 feet or something. It was a really amazing length, which I hope I'm never trying to level 350 feet anyways. I don't, I don't really see that. But if you're in construction or something, sure. Now, uh, tripod would be a must if you're going to use one of these because I'll flip it over. There's your tripod mount, like a camera mount for a tripod. And you can set this on a tripod so that uh, you can shoot different lasers. Uh, beams at different things in order to get level in order to build you know build things cool and again I'll just show you see if it's off, if it's not level the little red light comes on you know so that's pretty cool now this is kind of an interesting little extra item too that can be set up on say like the tripod or something that I tried to break this morning but uh, you actually have a little knob here and you can adjust and tune the height or whatever it is you're doing with the laser. It also has mounting screws if you need to mount it or something, but also has the regular, you know, 10 uh, quarter 20 uh, thread here for mounting onto a tripod, for example. And again, this can be mounted up on here. And this allows you a little moving platform so you can, I'll see if you can see that, so you can actually tune this thing. It's again, it's a fairly nice, easy machine to uh, work with. And it's not very expensive. Uh, I think we're going to be around a hundred and no, oh, about hundred and nine dollars. I think, but I think we've got discounts and you know sale prices and stuff like that for a link coming up. So when we have the link for this product, it's going to be a really cool price. I've got to talk to the uh, supplier and just make sure this is uh, you know going to be like an on sale thing for everybody that's watching. Now, I'm going to change the. Yeah, I'm actually going to shut this off for a second here because one thing you don't want to do with lasers, you don't want this light actually flashing up in your face or too much radiation thing coming off it because it is a laser. Uh, this is the USB which has a little rubber plug here which you have to sort of peel out in order to get it plugged in so you can charge it up. You know, once it's fully charged, the uh, depending on the intensity of the laser, if you're using the lowest intensity of the laser, the charge they say will last you up to 18 hours. On the highest uh, or brightest laser uh, setting, it should last about eight hours, or no, sorry, nine hours, nine hours out of this little guy. So that's, you know, that's a full day's work right there. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's get some, uh, I guess get a piece of paper out here so that you can really see the intensity of what this thing is doing. Yeah. Okay, real quick, it's actually sending lasers out in about all directions, but you know, here's, I'll hold this paper st steady. Actually, let's put this up against something just so it doesn't bounce around all over. There you go, hey, hey, hey. So we've got a, a horizontal line right now coming off the machine, but you can also turn on a vertical line. So you can have both, or you can have just a vertical line, or again, like you saw, you can have just a horizontal line. And so this gives you, you know, both accesses that you need to see if you're shooting a laser. And just imagine this could be 30, 50, 100 feet out. It doesn't really miss. Apparently up to about 300 and something feet. This thing is going to be accurate and you're going to be able to see that, that line even out there in the daylight. You'll be able to pick it up. I'm not sure what intensity I've got right now, but I'll just try this. Okay, that's going down, up. That's the, I think... Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, there, there it is. There's your brightest, uh, yeah, your brightest one right there. Whoa. Yeah, this paper, moving this paper around really throws you into a dilly. And then, as you can see, if you turn the laser around, I'm just going to sort of spin it, you can see that the horizontal line, sorry about the noise, it's kind of weird, it um, is out, it's going out in all 360 degree directions. And again, uh, the vertical line, uh, okay, I'll turn this to the back side. And you can see there's only one vertical line. So you're not going to get confused with that because the vertical line is coming from the front here only. And let's see, there's the vertical. And again, you just turn it around. And you can see that's that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Anyway, just, just so you can see what's going on. Like I said, simple, easy to use. And this should be able to make make your work so much easier than using the old bubble levels and things, or an Egyptian level if you happen to have one of those. That's kind of they're kind of a cool old, <laughs> really cool old water water level machine that uh, yeah can level things up. What a wow, that is cool. Okay, so there you go. Uh, who is this for? That would be our next question. I, I, I've been trying to add that to, for for programming, but. I think uh, anybody that does any kind of projects, whether it be uh, docks and decks, uh, porches, you hang a picture, or you're just running some flooring or framing or 
any kind of construction work and whether you're a newbie or you know you're advanced fella and you want something around that's going to help your projects and your your job it's like you know yeah that's for this so, so there's a lot of folks out there that could be you know could use one of these and I've got a job right now I'm thinking about I'm kind of scared to look at it because I already know it's going to be wrong <laughs> so it won't be level you know? like, oh. <laughs> but the uh, what a great item and it's a great product and I believe it's had a great price so anyway hopefully like I said we will have a uh, some kind of a code for a discount and a product link and everything where you can get get this thing and then in the meantime we are let me get this back in this box mm-hmm yeah, I'm going to start the usual like I always do. Uh, I'll see if I don't break this like I did when you take it out of the box. It just it's a it just pulls, you know, no biggie. <laughs> and see if we can get it back. There we go. Yep. In fact, I'll even put the uh, instructions and the cable back in here. And this is this is that part we uh, I try to do it every week. And unfortunately, last week we couldn't do it, but to this week we are doing it. Yes. If you watch, you know. Uh, I'll even put it back in the box. Yeah, there we go. I want to again thank you, uh, Jocelyn, I believe it was, uh, for sending this over to us to have a look at it and review it. And next Thursday, a lucky viewer will get a chance to own this laser. That's going to be, yeah, it's a different laser. So I'll uh, stand over here. We're going to do the usual. So how do we get in our draw? Well, when we do the draw, you'll email to ctrewards at gmx.com. One, uh, one entry per household. And the subject line in your email should be laser. Yeah, simple, right? And then we need in the body of your email is just your name and your address, nothing else. And uh, we will make up tickets next Thursday, and we'll draw tickets. And one of them, somebody who's watching, a lucky viewer, will get himself one of these uh, laser level. And I think they will love it because it is. It's easy to use. That's yeah, for me. That's number one. You know, it's easy to use. <laughs> After that, it's like you know, the job will go just so much better and so much more accurate with something like this. So yeah. Definitely a nice little household item for anybody to own. So, yeah, I tried to think of uh, jobs that you could use this for, and I went from kitchen cabinets to all kinds of uh, different projects, the hanging and pa painting even. It was like, after a while, I was like, just about everything that needs a level is, you know, you could do a nice job or even a better job and handy with this, especially when you're shooting like long range and stuff. If you're doing something and you're running 20, 30 feet, you know yourself, a uh, bubble level is not going to really cut it for you, but something like this where it just shoots that beam out and you can actually take your pencil and actually scribe a line right where you can see the line, you know, wow, it's it's some pretty some of the better technology that I've seen the last few years. And uh, so anyways, next week, next Thursday, we'll draw for this. And uh, Monday, I've got a brand new machine from a company that uh, we're going to demonstrate that should be an interesting review and meantime uh, thank everyone for watching coffee and tools don't send any more coffee I'm my cupboard is you can't even close the door on it right now there's so much coffee in that cupboard <laughs> and, and please like share subscribe the usual and uh, we will see you Monday in the meantime have a great weekend everybody I'm out of here over and out